can back with Rob after my ride on the 1200, which was superb, XRT model. Okay, Rob, now, how does this one differ? It's a different model designation, yeah, but obviously a, it's the smaller engine yeah, bike. this well. is the Tiger 800 and this is the XRX specification. Um, so it does come with heated grips and cruise control as standard and you oh, still have the good. benefits of the TFT screen which yep. again will have the Bluetooth upgrade at it's the, the end same of the year. TFT screen in principle it's exactly the same, same yeah exactly the same features uh, but it hasn't got the electronic suspension this yep, bike okay. so it, it's got manual adjustment suspension yep um, it's 95 horsepower from an 800 cc oh that's um, that's still that's done up the road it's yes <laughs> absolutely uh, and it's got still got four engine modes um, and basically it's just a much lighter bike than 1200 um, and a lot of people tend to go for this because it's more nimble um, and it's still more than capable of doing touring um, there's three panniers on these as well at the moment all oh, right so that's um, a pretty good deal yeah. same APR is it 7.9 7.9 yes this thousand pound dealer contribution this one uh, not on this, this particular one. bike no but no. it's a lot cheaper how much it's is this one cheaper. this particular model is 10,500 on the road in this color uh, this is our X demo which is up for sale Radio. Um and this is up for nine and a half Okay, so possible bargain there. Yeah, absolutely. So, what options do people tend to get on this? So, it's got. So can you get a heated seat option? Uh, you can't. No. Okay. Um, so. Well, that's not a bad thing. I mean, the day you've got to differentiate between the yeah, two. Yeah, I mean, you can. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one's going to get the bigger um, ones. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, you know, the top box. You can have the engine bars. They do yeah. Fuel, they do fuel tank bars for these now. Um, oh, okay. It gives it that so bit more of that adventure exactly, look as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you've got uh, LED fog lights, you can add the wiring is already in place. So okay, just add them onto the front, yeah, yeah okay. Just add them onto the front. So, and it's um, a normal manual screen, this one, is it? Uh, yes, yes, it's fully adjustable. Just push it out, slide it down. Okay, that's fine. Push it out and slide it up for adjustment. Um, that's it's got nice daytime running lights still, which is LED, but the main headlight on this particular model is halogen, uh, whereas on the XRT, which is the top of the range version of this, has got full LED lighting like the 1200. Yeah. Oh, I like it, actually. It's still very svelte, isn't it? It is. What livery options are there? Uh, so you can get an XR, which is a very basic bike, doesn't have cruise control, doesn't have a TFT screen, but to oh, look at okay. essentially, um, and they're nine and a half on the road, uh, and then you've oh, got... See, for uh, extra grand you get that, plus residual's going to be better, because exactly. this is going to be more desirable. You've got the XRX and the XRT, yeah. the XRT's 12,300 on the road, if you have a black one like this, these are ten and a half if, if you want uh, the paint option, then obviously there's an extra 150 on top. Okay, fair enough. Right, okay, I'm interested to take this one out and see how it compares, actually. And there it is. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. <laughs> okay, trade plates on. This is not taxed. Tiger 800. X model. X Factor. Okay, well, it does look a lot, lot smaller, funnily enough, uh, than the uh, Big Boy 1200. But bigger isn't always better. So, let's take this for a blast. Swing leg over, not too bad. Okay, yeah, my feet are just about flat on the floor. So that's the first positive of the smaller bike. God, feels lighter pulling away straight away. Called front brake. <laughs> feels feels dead compared to <laughs> just come off the 1200. Needs a bit more of a pull. Oh, hasn't got quick shifter. Well, we self acclimatized here. Give yourself a little stretch. Just, just, just do the mirrors. Okay, so instantly it just does feel lighter. You get moved around the road a little bit more. Now, two things that brings to mind with that. First of all, it's perhaps slightly less comfortable. And you can feel the suspension is quite up to the suspension on the 1200. But secondly, though, because of that, it's like it feels slightly more sporty, slightly more engaging, and it feels a bit looser. So it feels more like what you'd call a normal kind of bike or a normal kind of sports bike. And it's got less inertia. So initially, it pulls away straight away. So that's interesting, and probably not to be unexpected. I feel immediately comfortable on it because the bars are identical, the LCD is identical and fabulous still. As you can see, it's slight, slightly different. This is one of the other screen settings that are on offer with that magnificent screen. It hasn't got an electric front screen at the... But it's manual as you saw, Rob, you can move up and down manually, that's fine. You can do that going along. 
instantly get more blustery there, let's put it back up. Interesting. Now the seat, not quite as comfortable, not quite as much padding, a little bit firmer, but again, that gives it its kind of sporty feeling. And brake, and brake, and pull the brake again. Good grief. That front brake. You need to be world's strongest man to pull that in. Goodness gracious me. A little bit windy in there, I'll leave the visor up so you can tell the difference from the previous review of the 1200. How much better that screen was. Oh, nice Bentley. So going just off vertical. Feeling quite relaxed really. No real stress on my elbows, shoulders or neck. Which can't be a bad thing. The dynamic nature of this bike over the 1200. I'm moving for that 1200. It's just got an extra level of comfort, which could be down due to the bulk, the less jerky inertia sort of feeling, better brakes and a much improved suspension. What I do like about this is that it's lower. If my feet are completely down, I feel a lot more comfortable coming to a stop. I mean, it's a bit unfair to compare in a way. Um, <laughs> to sport mode, the other bike had an abundance of power. Oh, QF, lovely, love those. And uh, it's got quick shifter up and down. So, you know, it's not really a fair comparison, but it's about which bike is right for you. That's what this whole exercise is for. Because there might be some people who are generally interested in these bikes independently, but might be generally split between the two. Now, of course, the main difference of all is the price. You're talking some six, five six seven thousand pound difference depending on kit and spec and what the dealer's offering as an incentive over the two now so if budget's an issue the 800 definitely definitely comes into play it's still a fabulous bike probably get a few extra bits for it here and there and uh well i'd, but I'd certainly go and get the, the xrt version so it's got all those extra little bits but even this version's got lots of creature comforts if you've got the money though or you can save that a little bit more, just push it up a little bit further, then I would say get the bigger one. If you're going to do longer rides a lot, or you're going to use pillions, or you're going to put a lot of weight on the back, touring solo with the panniers, and it really does come into play. If not, then just get this bike. This is eminently more suitable for commuting, being slightly lighter, more chuckable, although it's got the same width and girth. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, difficult. But well, I put it against competitor bikes, and I did like the BMW 850, the GS. But like, yeah, a little bit more expensive actually, especially when we start adding on some trinkets. Whereas this has got a lot more of a standard. Uh, and that's kind of a mini adventure. This is pretty damn good, you know. So, well, the 800's like got plenty of oomph up this very, very steep hill. No problem at all. Less than fifth. Very good. I think a bit changed down now, though. So you know, I it's positive. Okay, it's got the quick shift of like 1200, but changing gears a delight. The foot, my foot steps in nicely. The clutch handle, you just kind of pull it in, and it. As you're pulling in, you're just changing the gear, it's slotting in beautifully. There's absolutely no drama whatsoever. Another thing to try and get right is you can get into neutral okay. Now, for some people, that's a bit of an issue. I suppose the other competitor you've got to bear in mind is the Tracer GT. That bike's pretty energetic, it's quite a different kind of character. Ooh, um, they're really too close to cool. Which one comes down to preference and looks, I suppose. I'd say this one has kind of the kind of kit on it that I'd want at this price. Oh, dear, and it's British made. That might tip it for me. But oh, I'm still, I'm, as you know, an MT-09 SP. The, the engine itself can almost tip it to its favour. But you've got to look at the whole bike as a whole. I think you've just got to take them both out. 
in the case of the 1200 versus the GS it's exactly the same take them both out unless you've got particular brand loyalty but don't forget these are all great bikes no one makes any bikes that are less than good some bikes are outstanding some bikes are outstanding because they suit you or fit you perfectly for your character or your needs and ask me, this bike does suit me, it's just I've been seduced by going on the 1200 first. <laughs> and going on this one afterwards, quite obviously, five grand, six grand difference, it's an inferior bike. Even with the extra weight you've got to carry around. So it's perhaps a bit unfair. But for the price, this bike is still a fantastic bike, absolutely. And you still take it anywhere, practically. Still a bit of a go everywhere bike. So I might as well leave it there again then, really. Okay. I think the 1200 had no fault whatsoever, like the GS. This bike... Not faults, but just not as desirable. Suspension's not quite as good. The, the fuel is not quite there. The power's obviously not quite there. Uh, not quite as compliantly comfortable. But these, you know, is that worth £6,000 difference? Probably not. Certainly to the majority of people. But there's no negatives. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy this 800 versus 1200. I mean, in a lot of ways you could say it's, it's a complete waste of time. But hopefully you've got gained some kind of information out of it that was useful. Just enjoyed the way I drive rubbishly on the roads. But I'll leave it there. So, uh, ride safe out there. Take care. Aid from Witch Bike signing out.